Whether you love him, hate him, or think he's okay, there's no denying how ridiculously successful Floyd Money Mayweather is. There's a reason that's his nickname and not, say, Frugal Floyd. The man makes tons of cash and spends almost as much. Over the course of his 50-fight boxing career, Mayweather has earned over $1 billion. Billionaire athletes are incredibly rare. It's pretty much just Mayweather, Tiger Woods, and Michael Jordan. But Mayweather didn't become a billion-dollar earner simply by being good at boxing, though that most certainly helped. No, he got rich by being one of the savviest self-promoters in history, and by taking a huge risk with his career and seeing it pay off a billion times over. The son of a former boxer, Floyd Mayweather Jr. was always destined to follow in his father's footsteps. He showed incredible promise early on, gathering an 84-8 amateur record and mastering the art of defensive boxing. He parried and ducked and avoided punishment so well, he earned the nickname Pretty Boy due to no boxer being able to hit him enough to mess up his pretty face. Mayweather went pro and quickly made a name for himself. Within two years, he had garnered an 18-0 record and won his first world championship, defeating WBC super featherweight champion Hernaro Hernandez by corner retirement. That's the boxing term for when a fighter's manager gives up for them. Mayweather had beaten Hernandez so convincingly, the champ's own cornerman knew it was time to quit. But we're not here to discuss Mayweather's in-ring dominance. We're here to talk about him becoming filthy stinking rich. Thing is, he didn't get that way by winning 18 bouts in two years and becoming champion of the world. During those bouts, as well as the 19 to follow, Mayweather was represented by top-ranked promotions. Under this deal, Mayweather became a wealthy man, working his way to paydays of around $5 million per fight by 2007. For most of us, earning $5 million a fight would be incredible. A couple of those, and we'd be financially set for life. But that's why we're not nicknamed Money. Floyd Mayweather wanted more, way more. However, he knew it couldn't happen if somebody else was managing his career. No, to become the super rich money man he knew he was, he would have to control his own destiny. There was just one small issue, his contract to top rank. After scouring the legalese, he realized that it contained an opt-out clause that he could activate by paying $750,000. He did just that, cutting a check for top rank brass and leaving their headquarters a free man. He quickly formed Mayweather Promotions and became an entirely new person. Christening himself Money, the former pretty boy became just as much a showman as he was a boxer. He was loud, braggadocious, constantly hyping himself up, and never for a second hid how the most important thing to him was getting paid. If a lesser athlete had tried that, they'd probably have found themselves booed out of a career. But since it was Floyd Mayweather, and he was doing all this while also being the best boxer on the planet, millions of people bought into it. Just like that, his pay-per-view buy rate soared, and with no middleman to take the brunt of the cash, not to mention more cash period, Mayweather's paydays skyrocketed. His first fight as his own boss earned him $8 million, but his first true money fight came against fellow boxing legend Oscar De La Hoya on May 5th, 2007. It remains the closest Mayweather has ever come to a loss, as he earned his one and only split decision victory that night. However, he pocketed $25 million for the bout, officially elevating him from a mere great boxer into a bona fide megastar. From there on, Mayweather never earned less than $25 million a fight, between his downside guarantee and his generous cut of the ticket and pay-per-view revenue. The sole exception came not in a boxing ring, but a wrestling one. After retiring in 2007, Mayweather focused on outside ventures, one of which being an appearance in WWE. He feuded with The Big Show, who at 7 foot 2 and 500 pounds was roughly three times money's size. Even still, the two fought at WrestleMania 24, and Mayweather got the Duke by knocking out Big Show with a pair of brass knuckles. Mayweather earned a mere $20 million for the bout, and because it was pro wrestling, he didn't have to pay a fine for being a dirty, dirty cheater. Following WrestleMania, and a stint on Dancing with the Stars that garnered Mayweather his first loss in anything since his amateur boxing days, Money returned to the sweet science. He showed little rust in the ring, and even less rust when it came to promoting himself. His comeback garnered more than a million pay-per-view buys, meaning his $10 million guaranteed ballooned into far more than that. The event generated $52 million in revenue, and as the promoter, Mayweather made sure he got the lion's share. Even though Mayweather got paid the most, he made sure his opponent got a hefty paycheck too. 
In fact, many of Mayweather's opponents made more money fighting him than they'd ever made before, and he used that as a bargaining chip. When negotiating with Manny Pacquiao, he refused to split the revenue evenly, but made sure to tell Pac, that can't happen. But what can happen is you can make more money fighting me than you have ever made in your career. Mayweather, meanwhile, continued to make more and more money with each fight. Against Victor Ortiz in 2011, he earned $40 million in total. The following year, against Miguel Cotto, Mayweather demanded and received a $32 million guarantee, which was the largest in boxing history. With 1.5 million pay-per-view buys generating $94 million, Mayweather's full paycheck was almost certainly way higher. In 2013, Mayweather broke his own guaranteed money record, receiving $41.5 million plus an additional $30 million in revenue. But that was nothing compared to what he made for fighting Manny Pacquiao on May 2, 2015. The so-called fight of the century had been at least six years in the making, with on and off negotiations and trash talk from both sides turning the hype machine into an absolute monster. The fight generated over $500 million in revenue, and Mayweather received nearly half of that. Between his guarantee and his generous cut of the revenue, Mayweather's purse for beating Manny Pacquiao was an astounding $250 million. Even still, Floyd Mayweather had not yet reached $1 billion in earnings, because that is unbelievably hard. To reach that milestone, he had to wait two more years for a boxing vs MMA fight with UFC superstar Conor McGregor. The two trash-talking maestros hyped the fight up to massive levels, though at the negotiating table, Mayweather was the undisputed champion. He got McGregor to agree to $30 million in guaranteed money, which is only unimpressive when you realize Mayweather received an asinine $100 million guarantee. Once the fight was over and Mayweather had recorded his 50th straight victory, he proudly strutted away with a paycheck totaling, get ready, $275 million. This massive purse pushed him into the billion-dollar stratosphere. To put it another way, Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James, and Lionel Messi earned $259 million that year, combined. Mayweather earned more than all three in a single, mostly effortless night. Following the McGregor fight, Mayweather retired again, resurfacing only once in November 2018 to fight kickboxer Tenshin Nasukawa in a three-round exhibition bout. He earned a mere $9 million for the fight, which was over in about two minutes. While such a purse was less than 1% of what Mayweather has earned over his career, it's a sign that at long last, money Mayweather may no longer be in pursuit of as much money as possible. He's made a billion dollars. He wouldn't live long enough to earn a trillion. So what remains other than to live his life, have some fun, and reflect on a financial job extremely well done? Unless, of course, someone offers him a fight where he'd make $300 million. Most likely, he would take the bait. Hey, he's rich and retired. Not crazy.